Hello and welcome back to a new video about processes. This time we are talking about a Stückgut process, so a process which is not continuous but step by step, item by item, something like this. In continuous processes, flow processes, we said there are very, there are, there are standard symbols and so on. We talked about those process flow diagrams and, uh, and uh, piping and instrumentation diagrams in the last video. However, in this, in, in other processes than flow processes, this is not that accurate. Okay? So there are a lot of ways of describing. You're more free. That's the positive way to say it. Yeah? One possibility is the scheme of technology. Technology, technology, technology <laughs> scheme. A uh, technology schema, German. Well, what's a technology schema, technology scheme? Uh, basically, it's a picture. Huh? Basically, it's a picture showing how the thing is working. It's more or less abstract. Yeah? So, it should be it should look like the real thing. Yeah? You should see what this thing is drawing. Yeah? And you should see all the parts which are necessary. Yeah? For instance, a typical technology, technology scheme would look like this. Let's see if I can manage to draw this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess right now you don't really know what this is. Huh? Okay, so this should be a parcel distributor. So there is a parcel now yeah, from whomever, yeah, and it shall be distributed, shall be distributed to one of these three queues here. Yeah. So there is a laser scanner scanning the parcel's barcode. Yeah. Then we know where to put it. Yeah? And these are pneumatic cylinders here, yeah? which will push the parcel away from this belt drive yeah? to one of the three belt drives. If not, if everything, and here is a big basket where all the parcel switches cannot be read are put in. Yeah? So, this is already something, a technology scheme. Yeah? I've shown you, I can add numbers, one, one, one. Pneumatic cylinder. Yeah. Two, laser scanner. And so on. I can put numbers and I can make a description and with the help of this technology scheme it should be clear what this process is doing. Okay? So there is no not rule, there are not standardized symbols and so on. It might be more or less abstract. Yeah? It can be with color, it can be zoomed in, it can be part of the 3D construction yeah? with more or less details. And you see, it does not really matter if you can build it like that. Yeah? Here, my cylinders, they are just somewhere in the air. Yeah? There is no mounting, nothing. Yeah? Of course, this is not a construction. Yeah? But it should show how the thing is working and if you stand in front of the application of the real world 
thing, yeah, it should be clear. It should somewhat look like this. Huh? Maybe you can even make somewhere a little glass window yeah, to look inside, yeah, or cut something away which is there and to show what is behind, so on. This would be a technology scheme. Okay? So a technology scheme is an explanatory drawing, yeah? more or less abstract, yeah? which should cover the whole process. Okay? Technology scheme. One possibility of describing such process. Second, second possibility would be a function scheme or function diagram. We talked about this. There's a separate video about function diagrams. It somehow describes uh, the actuators and the sensors, the signals and so on and how they depend on each other. Yeah? There's a separate video about this, I will link it. Function diagram. Then there's some just a description, functional description. Hmm? This is somewhere like a text textual description. I simply describe in words what the process is doing. Hmm? Here I would explain there is a laser scanner built in. The laser scanner is scanning the destination from a barcode on the parcel, depending on this information of the barcode, it's distributed to one or three queues, uh, local, national, international, for instance. Uh, and this distribution is done with the help of belt drives and, and, and pneumatic cylinders. Hmm. Now it's easy for you to understand, but usually those functional descriptions are yeah, very abstract. Yeah. What else? Uh, there's somewhat like an operating manual. Hmm? This is also describing the process, however, from the viewpoint of an operator. So what is done by the operator, not so much what is done by the process, what is done by the operator, to operate the process, yeah? to keep the process within the desired limits. Okay? This would be the operating style manual. Uh, and then of course, the, a very detailed version of describing this is to offer the program, yeah? the control program. Then I need days to read it. However, there's no question unanswered. If I have the control program of this whole stuff, I know exactly what this thing is doing. In every detail, in every also unnecessary detail. This is not very good for an overview. This is good for an overview. So also here, we have somehow this uh, thing that we come from the common to a very, very, very detailed version. Okay? So basically, these are the things. Yeah? Like I said, far not that standardized like in flow or continuous processing, just process diagrams and so on. Yeah? I just want to show you there are possibilities and give you a little bit ideas simply. Yeah. Next time we are going to talk about electrical documentation of your plant uh, or of your application. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.